In this tutorial, you will learn how to design a flyer using Adobe Illustrator. First of all, open a new document of size 5 by 7 inches. Start with the front side of the flyer. Use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle covering the whole artboard. Change its color to FFA DB4. Again, select the rectangle tool and draw a thin line. Change the color to FFCE D2. Copy the lines multiple times to fill the entire artboard. Now use the pen tool to draw a straight horizontal line at the top and change its style to dashed line. Increase its weight to two point. Make a copy of the dashed line at the bottom. Rename the layer as background. Once the background is done, create a new layer. Now you can draw an image or download a vector file and copy it. Place it according to your requirements. Now use the ellipse tool to draw a circle and change its color to C3E1E3. Send it behind the girl vector. Make a copy of the circle and change its outline to dash style. Place it over the circle. Once the circle with dashed outline is done, make a copy of it and alter its size to make it fit inside the blue circle. Change its color to F1D3D2. Again, make a copy of the circle and place it accordingly. Change its color to 8BAA0B. Now copy and paste a swirl design and send it back by pressing Shift Control Open Bracket. You can download a vector file of Swirl's designs. Once the design has been completed, use the Type tool to insert text. You can use different fonts and sizes here. When the front side is complete, we will start designing the back side of the flyer. Add another artboard from the Artboard panel on the right. Click on the background layer and copy the background from the front side and paste it on the other artboard. Now click on Layer 2. Copy a vector image and paste it on the artboard. You can draw an image or download a vector file. Once done, copy the circles from the front side artboard and place them accordingly on the back side. Now copy the swirls design and place it on the back side of the flyer. Adjust its placement accordingly. Use the type tool to insert text. In the end, use the rectangle tool to draw a rectangle with no fill over the artboard of the front side. Then select all the elements and press Ctrl 7 to create clip masking. This will remove the unnecessary parts.